The following program contains humor that could give rise to feelings of inadequacy. We are not doctors, financial advisors, or a credible source for anything. Relax, bro, it's just a joke. Welcome back, everybody. It is once again Saturday, and as always, I am your host, Glide Guide. Now I have a fucked up throat. I'm not feeling too well. So I have a me a brevity of uh, co hosts. Starting from the top, we got uh, CDK, Chance Paladin. And then we got Black Dog. Hola, pendejos. And that is hey. us, Analog by Nature, here on D Live. Every Saturday and sometimes Wednesday. Boys, lads, fellow chums. You're going to do most of the talking because my throat the fucking hurts. That's okay. I can do it. I know you can do it. That's all you like to do is talk. No, I hope everyone's having a fantastic night uh, while we while we do our round robin of making sure nobody's dead. Uh, I have a question for everyone to, to think about. Uh, so I was thinking issue. about uh, what what my last meal would be, uh, specifically if I was going to to get electrocuted. Um, and so I want everyone to think long and hard for the next thirty seconds while I tell mm. you what I what what I would eat. But I could go last unless Glide's throat's going to die and he wants to tell me first before he dies. Honey chicken, two bottles of Jack Daniels, Tennessee honey. And uh, and why why would that be? A honey chicken is the best food ever been ever been created. Okay. B because I can drink honey whiskey straight down the gullet. And I can drink two bottles of it and just go unconscious. C I'm a drunk. <laughs> C I'm a drunk. <laughs> nice. Okay. I would, okay. I would just ask for a bunch of Carl's Jr. So so they have to clean up the mess the next day. <laughs> a bunch of a bunch of big Carl's. Like, would you get a yeah. bunch of milkshakes too? Like, how would you? No, no. It, well, yeah, probably. I'd probably have to <laughs> shit after all those milkshakes too. Taco, I just, I just make Bell sure and, eat uh, as much as possible. Taco, Taco Bell and Jr. Thai food. Taco yeah. <laughs> Carl's Jr. Because you can order the fucking hamburgers without the buns. You just get hamburgers wrapped in cabbage, mm -hmm. like, yeah, and they're I'm all fucking... they're all like stupid greasy too. So yeah, I'm for fucking sure I'm fifteen hamburgers myself. wrapped in cabbage. You're about to fucking clean up a fucking. No oh, yeah. level fucking ass blast. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. So uh, I'm black die, black... make a mess on the way out. So black dog had the exact same thought I did, but I'll CDK. You got what comes to mind with you? Bunch of craft dinner. Bunch of spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> spaghetti yeah. Hell yeah. And some royal royal pudding to finish it off. <laughs> royal there you royal go. Pudding. <laughs> Why spaghetti? Mm, you know spaghetti well you're gonna get that stuck in everyone's head for the rest of their life so why when he was frying he was saying mom's spaghetti over <laughs> and over and over again. what's that mean don't look it up you so, hear yeah. about those guys getting their last meals and like oh for his last meal he ate an entire bible I'm like <laughs> how shit. edgy do you think you need to be you know what i mean oh you might as well yeah. cool. if you're gonna eat a holy book you may as well uh Eat, eat one of the other religions' holy books and really piss everybody. Yeah, why don't off. you eat the Why don't you eat the Dead Sea Quran. Scrolls? <laughs> eat the cur eat, eat a copy of the Quran, like, and really set everyone going. Yeah, just oh, just yeah. chew on the Torah. <laughs> There's a bunch of people pounded on the door wanting their book back. They look very covetous. Oh, oh, hey, give us back the book. I ate it already. He stole that book from us. Well, yeah. what are you gonna do? He's gonna fry. <laughs> All in one bite. Yeah, you gotta add some flair to it somehow. I was thinking like like an entire gallon bucket of jalapeno poppers. Taco Supreme. Oh, just something that is gonna change the chemicals in your intestines to liquid. I mean, make a mess. 
Okay, you you're, five you're contract about to die. There you go. So what if you what if you ate something? We'll we'll talk about like sabotage now. What if you ate something like extremely high in like a conductive metal content? I want fifty five uranium iron rods. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, that way, when you light me up, I could explode. Yeah, it's like a prison <laughs> <guy. laughs> like a crater, like a meteor uh, hit. <laughs> just ask for some pure uh, mercury tuna. Some pure mercury. I would like at least, at least I want a bunch of, of C4. <laughs> Add a bunch of dolphins, please. Some, some <laughs> Fukushima fish. <laughs> I would like some of Hillary Clinton's breast milk, please. <laughs> I'll eat some of her oh. emails for her. She, right. had, she had a snook. <laughs> snook up her sniz. I would ask for like a shit ton of unpopped popcorn. There you go. <laughs> Classic. Classic. So rad. Then it would just be popping out every hole. So you, you could, you could good. be like a real butthole though, and go. Okay, I need some cheeseburgers from like downtown Los Angeles. I don't think they allow you do that. They don't. I think they just it's whatever they can get in, in town. There's okay. one guy that requested a pound of dirt. <laughs> what kind of dirt? Just dirt. I think it was Is there just... any clay in this dirt? Did he eat the dirt? I don't know, but that was his. That was his last request. Some New Orleans dirt. Knowledge. Knowledge. So like we couldn't find any. We have mud. No, <laughs> I said dirt. I want dirt from Mars. <laughs> <laughs> dirt from Mars. You can't kill me until I get it. <laughs> Super expensive car. Don't worry, I got time. <laughs> yeah, well, like what what did Jeffrey Dahmer do before they electrocuted him? Because I mean, presumably he would just want more people and they would have to Jeffrey Dahmer Kill. actually died from uh, ass rape with a broomstick. He was I never know, put, but if he was never put to him. death. You, you, That's probably, would, would you ass rape Jeffrey Dahmer? How do would you, I? How do I know? How do you would know? You, you look there? it up. Look it up right now. Find out how you he died. Up, you look up Jeffrey Dahmer's ass I rape. I, don't I, already, I already know. That's what I'm telling you. That's how he... No, he had, you, <laughs> you want to say it. You would, I want some proof. I wanted to see this man being ass raped by a broom. Well, I don't think there's footage, but... Oh, there's footage of a lot of things online. I was watching drones drop grenades into Russian tanks earlier with people in them. Yeah, I've seen people get fucked by a horse and not die. That's a lot bigger than a broomstick. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, but it, yeah, but oh, Brazil. If, if someone's intending to fucking kill you, they're going to kill you with a broomstick or a donkey dick, no matter what. I guess Vlad the Impaler. If with that attitude, maybe fucking weak ass <laughs> asshole. You got that weak booty mm. cheeks? Can't even oh, fight yeah. off a horse dick. Yeah. Nope. Why are you I wasn't trying to fight it off. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you survive. You don't fight it off. You take it. Exactly. I wasn't trying to fight it off. I just let it happen. I was trying I to come going first. anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it was a race. Me or him. <laughs> Who comes first? <laughs> With a whole burger. All right, first story of the night. Billy Mitchell says his doctor won't see him because of his Donkey Kong cheating allegations. <laughs> so Billy Mitchell, if you don't know, was the man who uh, held the world title for the Donkey Kong game in like the 1983, like years ago. No one cared. Eventually, some other nerds who were really butthurt figured it out that he was cheating, and then they uh, roasted him, and then they roasted him in cartoons, and then they roasted yeah. him in a documentary, and then he sued them all, and he couldn't win, and so they just roasted him more. Yeah. And it's even it's even more of an impact on his life because that's the only thing he has. Literally the only thing he has. Why is his name Billy Mitchell when he's like forty something years old? Yeah, Why when do you become Bill? When do you become Bill? And when do you Bill? transfer to Bill? William. William. Just go straight to William. Stop fucking around. No way. Bill's oh, oh, way cooler oh. than William. William, William, do you want a spot of dick? Yeah. You want some tea, William? Why don't you duel me in Donkey Kong? Wait, you can't. My name's Bill. See, Bill's an American name. Oh, Bill. Bill. I think Bill Billy is a small name. American child. Yeah, Billy's a little boy. Hey, Billy. Billy threw his baseball through your window. Yes. Oh, you motherfucker. But Bill, Bill changed your tire on the side of the road when you couldn't do it because you're a little fucking soy boy. Yes. Mm. Mm, yes. Mm, yes. 
So imagine you're trying to get fucking like prescription for your your ED medication. You're trying to get the blue pill, and you're like, mm. I see that you cheated. You cheated in Donkey Kong in 1983. No boner pills for you, Billy Mitchell. <laughs> yeah, you have to watch monkey porn like everybody else if you want to get it up. Look at his thumb. Why is his yeah, thumb so big compared to the rest of his body? Is that how he won Donkey Kong? Because he just had big thumb? Big thumbs, big cheats. How do you cheat back in 1983, though? I don't know. You find Ding. ways. I think part of it, I don't remember this specific one, but they had to play the game like consecutively without taking any breaks. And I think sometimes they would, I don't know, fucking take breaks somehow and try to compare their records to people who didn't. Damn, that sounds like a lot of fucking work just so your doctor won't look at your penis when you're fucking 43. <laughs> yeah. Truly tragic. Truly tragic. You know, he, tr- he tried to sue Cartoon Network because Cartoon Network had a show called The Regular Show and they tried to like... They, they had an episode with him in it. Well, <laughs> his likeness-esque, right? It was just his big head with, a, with no body. With tiny little mm-hmm. baby arms and legs. And so he tried to sue them for his likeness, and he totally lost. Like he does with yeah. every one of his court cases. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, this was the one where he was using an emulator, which uh, you're not allowed to do for most of your uh, records. Records. How, how did he use an emulator in 83? Yeah, he he was the original guy, but he was... I can't remember exactly what the detail was. Keep talking, I'll look it up. We have our guys in the lab looking it up right now. So, uh, so, uh, Glad, if you had to have your name attached to some kind of video game record, uh, what would you want? Mm. Most, most headshots in Fortnite or some shit. The one guy that didn't look up the, uh, Android's dress in Near Automata. Mm. Apparently, if you're playing Near Automata, which I do own, if you angle the camera to look up the female's dress, you get an achievement. I Is didn't that... know that. Oh. And I've never looked up her dress. So I want to be known as the one guy that didn't look up her dress. Was that the one where if you do it enough times, she actually kills you and your character dies and you get like a game over? Or was that like a different one? Uh, again, I never looked it up, so I never... Yeah. I never I, no, no, never played the game. Never played it. Uh, it never occurred to me that game developers would do things like that until I was playing uh, the Resident Evil 2 remake where there's like a dead gal on this slab that the police chief had been doing horrible unspeakable mayor's things. daughter mayor's daughter and uh it had been the game tracks how long you stare at her dead there and uh, how long did you stare at the dead dead girl in the slab chance a couple seconds Long enough mm-hmm. to be like, oh, what the a fuck? A few minutes as I beat my dick off. <laughs> well, <laughs> the guns. A lot of people have because it tells you it it tells you the average of how long people had looked at it, and I was like, okay, yeah, it was a couple minutes for like the average person. I'm like, that's fantastic. Somehow he modified the machine that he used to record the record right. to make it slightly faster than any other game. So he had a, a like a one second advantage. So he had a turbo modulator, something like that. But it was yeah. on an arcade machine, so I don't know. Turbo modulator. You know, maybe the technology was just so shit that it was his was just slightly faster. Shitty fucking soldering on the PCB or some shit. <laughs> Could have been anything. Who cares? It's just a game. People need to calm their fucking tits about 80s. They really do. They record really achievements. Do. No, so I'm saying a YouTube video out of it. Duh. It's the only thing this guy did. Yeah, dude, so it's he, like being a professional Smash Brothers player. It's like fuck off. For a professional Smash Brothers player, you're a pedophile. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you're an adult, oh, yes. You don't want to play me at Pokemon cards? Yeah, exactly. I wanted to talk about this this week. No, too. you talk about it. My throat hurts. Go ahead. People have been posting new art, claiming it's their art, using the um, AI art pages. We've been talking about this for a couple months now. What I didn't know, and this is part of the article, is that all the uh, artists on DeviantArt have been getting butthurt because other 
people claiming to be new artists are just posting the AI amalgamations of the art already on DeviantArt. And, and I, there's nothing that protects their artwork from the AI ripping it off. From being trained, right? That's what the trained the in air quotes. The bottom comment is uh directly from DeviantArt. Yeah, and I was on DeviantArt for a long time. It was a pretty universal art complaint that it's super frowned upon if you steal somebody else's art and call it your own, especially since artists don't make jack shit for money anyway. Right. So if the AI can conceivably actually make a decent amount of money or notoriety just from stealing people's art with no uh, protections on it, it's going to make them very sandy. Midjourney is like 5 or $10 a month. You know what I mean? People are already The people who own the AI are already making a ton of money. It's the artists like... This yeah. guy's charging $750, or he won $750. Well, yeah, there's there's absolutely, like, multiple levels of money that you can make on this. And it makes me wonder if they, if they would be happier if the AI just uh, properly attributed the original artists, because that would at least be something... Yeah, but people usually, usually when you write the commands, you have to put in the style of somebody and then it'll copy that style, right? Mm. But you can do original stuff. I think even with some of this, it's hard to make these images <laughs> and the get same. them correct, you know? It's hard to yeah. make them exactly perfect because you put in four people and it keeps giving you three for some reason. Uh, again, that's why I think if it just properly, properly attributed where it got each one of the pictures... Um, on Twitter, like the biggest shit storms were always people uh, stealing each other's shit and reposting it on Twitter. Right. <laughs> and the reason the reason why people never got away with it is because the artist community is so small that everybody knows everybody and just said who the original. Yeah, we, you know, it's just binding it because there's so many people that do it. Right. But when they find it. Yeah, and your shit gets called out, and you get shamed off the internet. But with AI, there's no way to do that. Mm, I just post random things on it on Twitter. I don't care what they're, who they're from. <laughs> who's from? I posted it, and idiots. Yep. Be mad. Get fucked. Yeah. Well, and it's fine until all of a sudden you need to actually commission work. I don't need to commission shit. Like suck my balls. I'll pay an Indian guy on five or five bucks. Boom. One offered to do it for free. I'll do it with AI for free. I need Pikachu giving the fucking Michelin uh, tire man a blowjob. Fiverr, right now. Yeah, I guess if you can find Fiverr artists that'll make new shit. Although I would argue still then that Fiverr people are still getting paid more than any of the original artists, which is kind of a huge chunk of irony. They should go make a Fiverr page. No shit. That would solve a lot of problems. It's a Fiverr... good economy. Time to fucking get with the times. Boomers. Yep. Fiverr uh, solves a lot of problems. It creates it a lot of problems. It creates a lot of problems. <laughs> lot of problems. <laughs> Honestly, like, have you ever been in the beach and throw, like, one piece of food on the on the beach and then all of a sudden you're surrounded by 800 seagulls? Mine? That's what it's like trying to get a an offer on Fiverr. We're like, hey, we need an editor. You have to write glide guide in your response or I won't even look at it. And we got like 80 replies and like 60 of them didn't even read the thing. You just get spammed, basically? Yeah. Because everyone wants your fucking five bucks. And they don't have to actually produce anything for you. Well, not if you don't choose them. Right? It's like a want ad in Fiverr that you can make. And then you get a bunch of messages from people some actually can do the gig, and then you just get a bunch of. I think it might. It's got to be bots or something because they're so fast. That's I can do your commission. I have no idea what it is, but I can do it. <laughs> I didn't read your thing. I don't understand English, but let me do the job. That's just giving me nightmares of trying to get software developed <laughs> in general. Oh, you want a warranty system? We don't know what a warranty is, but we can develop that for you. <laughs> is your city underwater right now? Press 1 for yes and press 2 for no. 
<laughs> press anything to get I hung up on. I'm water. <laughs> press anything. <laughs> press any button to disconnect. If you want to be mad about it, you could make an AI image, print it onto a canvas, and if you were any good at painting, you could paint over that AI image, and then it would be as original as you can get anyway, right? Yeah, I mean, we run into a situation where nothing new ever gets created. Mm, next story, we got David Rush. No idea who that is. Catches 77 marshmallows in his mouth live. For those of you that don't know, David Rush is the guy that caught 77 okay. marshmallows in his mouth. Oh, so it's not, <laughs> marshmallow, his name is not David Rush. David and John about to try and break the record. Oh, so I guess we have man. a clip to watch. In the mouth. With a homemade Everybody, I hope you're not minute. trying to eat something to right now if you are. 47 marshmallows. Okay. 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 What a okay. waste okay. of fucking time. Yeah. My volume's about to wear off. Chop, <laughs> chop. <laughs> so it's 10 o'clock at night and I'm turning into a mushroom. So here's what I'm looking for today. It has to be a homemade catapult made out of household items. In this case, it's a mouse trap. And um, this hoe over pressers, here made the catapult. Six and a half feet of distance. <laughs> okay. And the, Is she going to uh, the catch him in her uh... the mouth and then dropped? Oh. Yeah. How many can you so catch in your ass? <laughs> holding it. So David, do you have a is that Ryan Seacrest? It is. It is. Shut the fuck up. up. No, he's, not. he's the new yeah, Regis. Just gotta aim that thing. Get it near my mouth. What? This isn't Jeopardy? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, let's put 60 what seconds. show is this? <laughs> Regis no, and Kelly and Ryan. I don't know look what at the catapult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, all right. Yeah, this guy looks so sad. The guy who has to throw marshmallows. You got that's uh, not David Rush. <laughs> he's just like, I don't really want to be here, but they're paying me. See, he's not eating them. He just has to catch them. He's like, oh, I met your father. <laughs> uh, he's so depressed. <laughs> yeah. He goes, I can't, I can't believe I said guy. yes. Be, be, be. I wonder what he's saying in his mind right now. This <laughs> reminds me of my mother on a Saturday night. <laughs> oh, Winona Riders up next. This everybody. is how his mom used to feed him. <laughs> right, like a baby bird with a catapult. Beep. Beep. Look, at, look at the catapult guy. He's so, he's so focused. He's in, he's in the zone. I wonder if he's counting. Beep. <laughs> so he's like spitting all over those marshmallows and just puking them into a bowl. No. Yep. <laughs> and then later, <laughs> and then he throws the bowl at his own face. He's very no stoic. Expression. Yeah. But he's see, depressed. Is this, All right, so is this better or Michael. worse than like Donkey so, Kong? The mark to beat. <laughs> oh man. Well, he didn't cheat. Yeah, he didn't cheat. He didn't lie. <laughs> we saw it. It happened. So Shrita, yeah. Okay, we'll do it live. Official Guinness World Records title, but I was able to see enough. Today you had at least 60. It's a new 60. Oh, 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 there you go. You got the meme. Oh, there we go. I'm so horny. Guys are efficient. Oh, Great job. We're giving you a giant hours check. of your life on nothing that matters, you idiots. <laughs> you get a giant check that says ten thousand dollars. <laughs> it says ten thousand dollars. <laughs> it's a check that represents a check that looks like ten thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually worth eighty dollars. Yeah. You can take it to Costco and they can print it out for about eighty bucks. That's what I thought. I thought he was going to swallow each one and then just start gagging. And... I'm not sure I've seen any Bangkok whore catch a whole bunch of shit in her mouth. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you're, you're not fancy. You're not new. He should have had the them Bangkok all in his mouth. Bangkok Minecraft server. Yeah, yeah. Bangkok Minecraft server. <laughs> the, the word Guinness Bo World Record of, uh, what did you say? Chubby bunnies? <laughs> Chubby bunny Guinness World Record. I don't know if you guys remember playing that as a kid, but it's where you like you'd put fucking marshmallows in your mouth and you keep saying chubby bunnies, chubby bunnies, chubby bunnies until it you couldn't say it. But most people just choked. Yeah, you, until you couldn't fit anymore. You just play with girls to make them fucking spit all over each other. That's pretty <laughs> great. Well, as is tradition. As is tradition. We said fluffy bunny though. But you, they don't look like a fluffy bunny. Chubby bunny, their mouth is like their cheeks are full of 
marshmallows. Was chubby bunny, chubby bunny. You know what I mean? They're getting chubbier and chubbier. Fluffy push pushes your tongue up though, makes it harder to say. Yeah, but chubby makes them get more marshmallows in. Uh, say more. say I and then spell cup. <laughs> no, you spell, they always spell cup and then uh, spell in a cup. Uh, and say in a cup. Uh. <laughs> and drink it. <laughs> Why don't you prove that you're a good person and uh, <laughs> go on to the next story so I don't finish this joke. <laughs> Boy, is the is the air guitar world championship going on in Finland? And uh, we got a clip. And uh, I'm sorry for the brain cells that you're about to lose. <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay. Is this, uh, so is this better or worse than Donkey Kong? This is worse. Or- these people don't, it's never touched the guitar even, in their lives. These guys aren't even playing the game. Like, at least the guy that played Donkey Kong, at least he played the game. So is this more like the marshmallow guy, or is this like a... Even the marshmallow guy touched the marshmallows, these guys. <laughs> this is like Guitar Hero? Even Guitar Hero takes a little bit of skill. <laughs> no, this is the lowest common denominator. And none of these people, like, that's not how you play guitar. No, that's how the lead singer pretends to play a guitar when the lead singer doesn't have a guitar in their hand. Uh, yikes. It's like, a, it's like the cross-dressing... This guy's not even playing guitar. He's yeah, just... he's just throwing fluff in the air. At least he's enjoying himself. Like, which hand are you playing the guitar with? He <laughs> <Yeah, he's laughs> was doing air drums <laughs> a second ago. <laughs> kind of like a mime. <laughs> It's supposed to be Alice Cooper. Calm down. They're taking him off stage now. <laughs> like, okay, yeah. that, we're taking Where's both the motherfucker off stage. Oh, he throws his stuff down because he's so cool. Ugh. You haven't done anything. Why do you want applause? No, because he's a mime. A mime is a terrible thing to waste. If I was doing this, I would just do the whole thing of me tuning my guitar. Oh. Okay. Like, did wow, you wow, listen wow. to your own song before you did this? Wow, 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 wow. Uh, he just went, yow, yow, yow. Anyway. Look at the sound system they have set up for this. It's inadequate. And BSK is rocking the set. Holy shit, we got a fucking. This is Aladdin? This, this is the World of Warcraft uh, cosplay. They've got guitars on too much. He's tickling the balls. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> got a little whooping crane here. A little crane. <laughs> my doctor checking my prostate. <laughs> They're more worried about the cues, they're counting, they're not worrying about the guitars. Yikes. There's Trump getting involved. Yeah, Donald, okay, okay. Yeah, finish Donald Trump. You would uh, you'd get killed here for doing that, but that's okay. I guess it's still okay there. There's some of these people. <laughs> Is that Prince? You guys have way too much. I like energy. how they're moving their hands and they just look. They're like, just, wah, like. I no idea what a guitar looks like. <laughs> oh, he fell off the stage. You no, know, this guy's the best guy. Weird helmet guy. Pretty much. It's still ongoing, so we don't know who won. This is just the first day. Are they all playing the same song? I just Why noticed. Is every female that's done has been fat. Um, I Finland. Those rap guys' girlfriends. <laughs> it looks like one of those rap guys' girlfriends. We call those modern whales. <laughs> I think this guy was the best. Because he didn't do anything? Oh. So you're gonna throw Simba out? Yep, is gonna toss a line into the audience. <laughs> you know, buddy. That's a fucking lion, it's the king of the jungle. 
There's no guitar playing when you're pretending to play. You're playing the lyrics. I give him points for just doing the ACDC yeah, play no, cake. No the Angus set. That's about it. Simone Puma got uh, thunderstruck. Just the PSA to anybody that ever goes to a concert. You're never gonna watch that fucking lame ass video on your phone. No, no it's true. Give your fucking phone away, you fucking loser. And why? You wanna watch this guy air guitar? You wanna watch this fucking most dog shit audio coverage of fake guitar playing? I yes. mean, maybe they were all there to just see him and so someone had it for his Instagram page or something. Is that a bearded lady? Yeah, they're in Finland. <laughs> The love I've been getting out here. Playing with the mushroom people. Oh man. Uh, but yeah. get hit by a lightning strike and I'm gonna <laughs> ride my little helmet. Alrighty. <laughs> Thank you. Thank shit. Man, that should change. <laughs> it was make me want to die. I I don't actually know anything about this one i do know that crypto is crashing because us d coins coming out next early next year though so i'm not sure how much of this crypto shit actually matters anymore true so starbucks details its own blockchain based loyalty program and nft community starbucks odyssey because starbucks wants to fuck them with some nfts <laughs> fuck them with some nfts guys <laughs> Dude, you can so, go get overpriced shitty coffee and overpriced shitty NFTs at Starbucks now. Yes, sir. So this I is mean, like a sign of like literally like the scene in the background where Butters is pitching Denny's Plus. Okay, gotcha. So now we're getting Starbucks Plus. We you fucking with your NFTs. Yeah. Do you like do you like terrible coffee? Do you like NFTs that are worth nothing? Starbucks is here. <laughs> if you can use your NFT Starbucks to buy a cup of coffee, then it's worth a cup of coffee. I mean, if cup if of you could coffee, if you could buy an NFT and then Starbucks have to pay you every single time they wanted to use that artwork, <laughs> that would be cool. But then, what stops an AI from just making a bunch of Starbucks artwork? Well, exactly. The Odyssey symbol itself is made. We could have talked about the chess cheating scandal, but I was. Fucked up and couldn't think about it. Is that better or worse than Donkey Kong? Uh, some dude beat the world grand master of chess, and they saying he cheated by putting fucking uh butt plugs in his ass and having someone Morse oh. code how to win versus the chess grand champion via butt plug. Why wouldn't it, you just have a computer plug? What? Butt. They did. The person on the yeah, other the, side of the butt plug the computer had a computer. Was giving it to him. It was ass. Yeah, I know, but why wouldn't yeah. you just have an AI watching the game through, like, a, a contact lens? You Like, you don't even need another person, right? That's how I want to win. Chance, can you get your hands on contact lenses that'll tell you how to win a chess game? No, I said it's an augmented reality uh, contact That's a lot of lens. work when you can just have someone going SOS on your butthole through a, via a fucking <laughs> sex toy. <laughs> I mean, Black Dog's, Black Dog's horse is busy, and so I don't know. It's like these weird little, like, eggs, and you could jam up with the fucking orifice, and then you have a little button, and then you control when that little egg vibrates. So that person could be doing something random, you know, they'd be fucking shopping at the mall, getting some Orange Julius, and getting a fucking big pretzel, and you fucking flip the switch, and they're fucking, oh, yeah, they're coming. You so what stops Orange phone. Julius? So what stops uh, streamers from doing this and just have it go off every time someone donates a lemon to them or something? They have um, that. It's just it's, on different kind of streaming sites. It's a different kind of platform. <laughs> yeah, it exists. Okay. And, and that's definitely where the technology came from. Not even no cap, no cap on a stack. Yeah, California will do that. Well, Russians did it too, and fucking any but anywhere where you can film people fucking themselves for money, it's been done. Yeah. I'd rather have a computer help me through fucking augmented reality. That way, it can you just like have a computer, being... but fucking you through augmented. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if we're going to use person? AI for everything else, we may as well just have AI uh, butt plugs. AI, AI butt plug to fuck you. 
I mean, if that's how we're gonna play chess now, how do you know the other person's not doing it? He could have two AIs, but fucking him. Oh, with like with Twizzlers up his dick. I don't know. You <laughs> saying that they had a sounding dildo in his penis, in it Carlos might... Magnuson's penis? It like showed him. It flicked it which way he should go. Yeah, pointed his <laughs> dick via sounding. Like oh, one of those a wa- clue right now. <laughs> like one of those water <laughs> sticks. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. It was there. a big clue. There it is. This clue is going to the left. I think I should move my pawn. <laughs> you know what they need to do? <laughs> Since they're having this whole debacle about the chest, get both of them in the fucking room, right? Get two judges, have them strip searched, finger in butthole, you know, fucking go up in there. Cavity search away up in them guts. That's what they were talking about. They're, they're planning and then have on making, a uh, making so that think- uh, security protocol for the next storm. Everybody so I think that's poop. what they do at uh, at casinos. I think they'll they they take you into the back room and get the big the big elephant glove on. I've never had this happen to me at a casino. You're going to some weird casinos, Chance. I mean, Black Dog's horse so, like have seen some shit. It's the future of counting cards. I mean, that's how they win in uh, prison when they're playing blackjack, fucking poker shit all the time. Except they don't have to use dildos. They just sit on whoever's controlling them. It's like a joystick. You ever just stop and listen to the words coming out of your mouth, Jess? Right. <laughs> I don't think what? you do. I try not to. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Depends on who you are. If you're going for a schizophrenic, uh, gay orgy PTSD haver, then you're right on track. I mean, when you're in prison, lots of things happen. Are you in prison, Jazz? Sometimes I feel like I am. <laughs> the prisons of my own mind. <laughs> the inner machinations of my gay orgy brain really be causing me trauma. Yeah, speaking of which, uh, you know, the glide voice in my head's been saying different things this, different things this week, so that's cool. I wouldn't listen to that guy either. What an idiot. <laughs> it is now time for Dear Glide. The part of the show where I read weird shit that you guys people send me. Dear Glide, I am 34 years old and I have three children under the age of 10. Two years ago, my husband left us and started living with his mother. He also has a girlfriend, but has not made any effort to file for divorce. Here's my question. How long should I go on trying to salvage my marriage? It's hard when there's only one of us is trying to work, is trying to work at it. Should I just go on with my life without, without him or keep praying he will have a change of heart and do the right thing? At what point do I just give up? Birding in New Jersey. Right away. Hmm. Hmm. Is he dating his mother? Or does he have a mother and a girlfriend? Is his mother hot? Yeah. You know, how do you know all this stuff? He was talking to him? Well, how, yes. how, does, how, how do we know it's not like two dudes? And now, like, he broke up with the husband and... Yeah, gr- girlfriend doesn't have to mean a girl. It, yeah, it, it could be an Well, it does. I know a chance that you live in the East Coast, but that's not, that's not where we're at now. I don't live in the East Coast. Oh, <laughs> West Coast, the East West. Coast. <laughs> you're gay over here, you're gay over there. Be quiet. <laughs> the, the farther you are to either coast. <laughs> if you're writing into Deer Glide, I'm assuming the girl is a girl and a boy is a boy. You know, Sound chop advice. his balls off and get a divorce. <laughs> and then hit him for child support. Fuck this guy. And his mom. And his stupid <laughs> mom. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Mm, dear Glide, about four months ago, the house across the street was sold to a father and son, or so we thought. We later learned that it was an old man about 50 and a young fellow about 24. This was a respectful neighborhood before this. The odd couple moved in and they have all sorts of strange looking company. Men who look like women. Women who look like men. Black, whites, Indians. Yesterday I even saw two nuns go in there. These weirdos are wrecking our property value. How can we improve the quality of this once respectable neighborhood? Nosy Nelly. Wow. Sounds like they're having fun. Sounds like they're crack dealers. Is this uh, in Idaho? Idaho? Yes. Okay. Sounds like something that would. (laughs) Now, what I need you to do, I need you to put a, you can go buy a junker at any, uh, any junker with wheels. It doesn't look too banged up, you know. A, a nice four hundred dollar car. I need you to get me a scarecrow and put it in the driver's seat. And then I need you to put red eyeballs, you know, like nice red eyeballs. You can you can paint these eyeballs in. I don't care. Paint the eyeballs of the scarecrow red. And then jam two little laser pointers inside of there. 
and have them facing the window of your neighbor. And then turn it on, you know, around like, make sure the laser pointer is around like three or four in the morning. Now, if they're drug dealers, this will get suspicious and eventually they'll come after it. At this point, you break their knees. Seems a bit extreme, but if they're really drug dealers, they should have a gun. If they don't, then they're not drug dealers. And that's how you figure that out. Problem solved. Or if they're not drug dealers and they're just weirdos, you've just broken their knees and now they're going to want to move away. <laughs> See, no, we, now, we know that didn't happen here because uh, there was no cat people. Then they would just play with the lasers and you'd be shit out of luck. Yeah. You'd be screwed. <laughs> now, where, you're, where you're going wrong is you said there's nuns going in there. So these might be just missionaries. And you might have just attacked men of the cloth for no reason. Yep. I mean, they should. I mean, I don't see why not. And if that does happen, say that it is a part of your religion to attack them. <laughs> <laughs> what can they do about it? Full you made circle. up this religion. It's yours now. It's true. Other than that, you probably just... You say this one's respectable neighborhood, then I'm assuming you have an HOA. And if you're part of an HOA, I think you're a moron. Yes. So you should probably uh, start your lawnmower in your garage and close all the doors. Just stay there for in a while. Breath. Have a nap. Stay there for a while. Yeah. <laughs> Go to the next one. Ooh, all righty. Wars to come back. This is. Let me give, give me one second. <laughs> need to clear. Need to clear my throat for this one. Uh, clear the come out my throat. I can. I can read it for you if you want. No to. way. I wanted to read this one. <laughs> Dear Glide, I, 25, female, revenge cheated on my husband, 27, male, and then found out he didn't cheat on me in the first place. He was just meeting his sister. I don't know what to do now. My husband went on a business trip, and during the trip, he went on a date with some girl. Did he tell you he went on a date with... If your husband tell, is telling you that he's going on a date with some girl, he's, he's probably not. There's just a probably sister. A joke. Uh, as revenge, I went on a few Tinder dates and I had a few one-night stands. Later, it turned out the girl was a sister. Now I feel bad because I did a wrong thing, but it wasn't my fault. What should I do? Whoa. Uh. I'm going to say this in the nicest way possible. <laughs> I need you to take a long walk <laughs> off of a short cliff. I got. I need I got you to only... take the tensile strength of a, a thousand a thousand strand rope by sheerly the fulcrum of your neck and your body weight. If you feel me, you seem like you wanted to cheat on your significant other at the rip. What guy says he's gonna cheat? Like, I'm gonna go cheat on you. What guy says that? No one says that. No one says that at all. So you hopped to that place in your mind and then cheated. A few one night stands. A few one night. You're you. Hard to justify. That's hard, that's hard to justify after after few. Never ask your wife their mileage. She had no shit. Try not to suck any dicks on your way out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, you even had Tinder dates lined up, like... Yeah, she was ready for it. How long this dude was on a gone? business trip and you fucked a bunch of dudes? <laughs> she went to the train station, apparently. Was his sister yeah. cute? Was it worth it? This is, this is hard for me, like, this is hard for me to relate to because I have dignity and morals <laughs> and self-respect. Okay, let's relax. Yeah, you're I, doing the Saturday uh, show with us. How much self-respect do you have? I need both of you to shut the fuck up, okay? This is <laughs> no, my show. Oh, this is Dear oh, Glide. Oh, oh, this is Dear Glide, not Black Dog Autism or Answer. Fucking, right there. This is Glide's show. Uh, these are my <laughs> moral times. <laughs> Your name, you, you even named yourself Confused Hussy. You should be Deceased Hussy in Minecraft. <laughs> No, instead she's diseased hussy. Like, you are a diseased hussy who should then become the deceased hussy in Minecraft. So you get monkey yeah, how do you explain you know? all the STDs that you just brought home? But uh, in a Christianly way, uh, ask your husband for forgiveness, and if he uh, beats you up and throws you off a cliff, kind of fucking brought that on yourself, chief. Or just accept that most business trips, they really are cheating on you. Yeah. Unless you've ever been on a business trip and you just get the holiday in and you just kind of want to pass out. This one just happened to be his sister. 
Because when, when he fucked his sister this time. Mm-hmm. The next well, time it could be his mother or his aunt. Uh-huh. Or some 50 year old dude with nuns. Yeah, some 50 year old dude and 24 year old dude with some nuns. Alrighty, uh, we're going to take a short break and then we'll be going into uh, Brave Bear. <laughs> 